You will literally never guess how much shipping from the UK to America is. Bye! Bye friends! Hi guys and welcome back to another crochet vlog with me, Nikki, the creator behind Instant Teddy's YouTube channel. So this week's been a really, really busy one and it is finally December. So that means the Christmas decorations have been cracked out and popped up. So to start off this week, I had my very first Christmas market, which I mentioned in my last vlog video and it went really, really well. I didn't manage to get a lot of footage. I did plan to film myself setting up um, and things like that but I just get really cringed out at filming myself in public I know it is something that I need to get over if I'm going to be doing these videos but at the moment I am still not 100% comfortable doing it I just find it really embarrassing okay so yeah I didn't manage to get too much footage but the market was really really successful and I'm so glad I did it met so many lovely people it was actually just in a local care home so I wasn't really sure what to expect but like I said it was a lovely day filled with lots of compliments and loads of other amazing stools. My small bears that I made in my last vlog that I was making for my new uh, recent pattern, they were actually really popular and one of the very first items to, no, I think the first item to sell. And I'll be making some more for my next upcoming market. Also, I should mention, I did this market with my sister-in-law who had a stall also. She does custom handmade painted denim jackets, which are super, super cool. And she's honestly so talented. She's on Instagram under Unlocked Talent. So please go check her out and show her some love. And also just to finish off with the market chit chat, I sold a total of 14 items, which when you say it like that, it doesn't actually sound a lot, but this was a total of um, over 150 pounds worth of teddies. So I was really pleased with this nice, quiet, small Saturday market being quite a successful one. And like I said, met loads of lovely people on, on the day as well. And the girl I gave my big blue bear to, please do comment down below if you ended up naming the blue bear, I'd love to find out and do keep in touch. So moving on, like I like to do, small business update. I am now on 660 Etsy sales now which is crazy just over a week since i did my 600 sale announcement so yeah i'm very thankful to everyone that has been supporting me and i thought i would introduce a star customer shout out to my vlogs because i have had a massive order just this morning of 30 pounds worth of patterns purchased this morning a shout out to dawn from the uk my mum's my mum's called dawn maybe it was my mum <laughs> No, it's not. It's not my mum. But yeah, she spent £30 worth on my Etsy store, which I am. I'm so appreciative. Do feel free to reach out if you struggle with anything in the patterns. And yeah, a huge thank you again. Speaking of orders, I have to pack and say goodbye to this guy. This is going to someone in the US. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to him, which I'm very sad about. I do have a soft spot for him. He is so, so lovely. I actually showed him in the last vlog. So that's quite funny that he has now been purchased. But yes, he is going to his home in the USA, which is super cool. So enjoy your travels, buddy. Let's go get him packed up. Bye. Bye friends. A random note, but if anyone knows how to get paint out of, out of clothes, fabric, much needed because I didn't realize that when I was decorating a while back, I seem to have got it all over this jumper. So let's just ignore that. Any tips for how to get paint out? Drop them in the comments below. Much appreciated. <laughs> literally just about to go and post my bear um i'm actually really intrigued i haven't sent off a package to america in a good while now and i can't i remember the packaging fees being quite a lot but i don't know specifically how much it was so i'm intrigued and also scared to find out how much this is going to cost me to send this guy international because i do have a fear that i have properly undersold myself with uh, shipping costs so it's a learning curve and let's just wait and see so guys you will literally never guess how much shipping from the uk to america is let's do a game right so comment down below your guesses of how much you think it cost me to send that bear to america pause the video and comment now and we'll see if you guess right and then i'm gonna reveal in three 
two, one. It cost me 21.85. Like, I'm, yeah. I knew it was gonna be a lot, okay, don't get me wrong. Like, I was aware that obviously sending things internationally costs more, but did I think it was gonna be 21 pounds, over 20 pounds? No. I really didn't. So yeah, that was a bit of a shocker. Just a bit of context and some stats. We like stats on this channel. So I had the bear up for 40 pounds. I thought that was quite a good price for him. He was lovely. However, I basically made a huge error and I signed up for Etsy cyber sale and I didn't read the small print. <laughs> so on this Etsy cyber sale, I just thought it was a 20% off sale but it also included that any sale over 30 pounds receives free shipping. <laughs> and if I'd known that, or actually used my brain and read the small print, I would not have signed up for that, especially for international orders. Basically because most of my products on Etsy are patterns that obviously don't need shipping, I didn't really like actually think about it, to be fair, and I didn't think it would affect me, but I have learned the hard way and Mistakes are there to be learned from. But basically, it was up for 40 pounds. It didn't include shipping. After all the Etsy fees and things like that come off, I got 35 pounds for him, which again, doesn't seem too bad. That's cool. But when we consider then I had to pay for 21 pounds of shipping, that then means I spent hours um, making and sending off a bear to basically only receive 14 pounds for it. So it is a little bit gutting. It's all learning. I'm not actually too down about it because now I know, now I know not what to do next time. Yeah, like mistakes are there to be learned from and now I know, now you guys know and we're not gonna do that mistake again. <laughs> I'm intrigued to see your guys' guesses to see if you were close to the mark or if you were just surprised as I was. So today, basically all I've got to sort out is um, I've got another Christmas market coming up next week, which is gonna be a couple of days rather than just a one day event. I have got quite a few little works in progress to finish off. For example, I have two turtles to finish off putting their heads on. They do look quite funny without their heads on. I've got a baby Yoda or baby alien, we like to say, to finish off. So just some ears and a little nose. He is, if you wanna make him yourself, he's part of my free tutorials over on my YouTube channel in my free tutorial playlist. So do check my free tutorials out because then you can make your very own baby alien as a little present or something for someone before Christmas. Yeah, I think that's it. I still have quite a lot of stock obviously from the last market and I am keen to kind of not over make, I guess, because I literally do have so much stock and it is currently taking over my hobby room like crazy. So I would rather wait until my stock has dwindled before I start to make much more. But the only things I do need to do is just finish off those um, works in progress, which isn't too much hassle at all. So yes, apart from the market that I have just done, this week we spent basically just putting up our Christmas decorations. So we head to the local Christmas store, uh, which was finally open and we had such a great time. Literally it's filled with loads of Christmas decorations, so many baubles, and we have a yearly Christmas tradition to pick out a bauble each year. So we spent over an hour or so in there picking our favorite baubles. These were some of the ones that I really liked. Comment down below which ones you prefer and which ones you think I went for. It's just such a lovely place to go to and I definitely recommend it if anyone is interested. And there were so many baubles to choose from. It made it really hard to pick which one I was gonna go for and I was torn between so many. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, go. That one. Yeah, I'm happy with that, that's fine. <laughs> the place also has a really super cute ski resort themed cafe, which we ended up getting hot chocolate at and a few sweet treats like cakes and cookies. It was an overall really nice weekend outing. Once we got home, we straight away put up our tree and got to decorating and making the home feel super, super cozy and Christmassy. That's so cute. An espresso martini. We 
have you got, Flo? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was so overwhelming. Oh! <laughs>